Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Driving with John Chow. And uh, based on the feedback on my last episode, you guys are really enjoying this uh, new Olympus uh, OMD EM5 digital camera. And I'm enjoying it too because it, it, takes, it makes me look a lot better and takes a lot higher quality pictures. So anyway, right now I am on my way to uh, Fletcher Jones Mercedes and it's time for another car wash. I usually wash the car once a week and I really take advantage of the uh, Fletcher Jones customer service because they give me free car washes for life. So it's kind of cool. But today I want to talk to you about something I think is very, very important. And that is, I want to let you know that you guys are already rich. That's right, you are already rich. Now, you may not feel rich because you know you got bills coming due and you're wondering where the money is gonna come to, uh, to pay for all this stuff. So how can I possibly say that you're rich? Well, let's take a look at this from a different perspective. You know, living the dot-com lifestyle has allowed me to do a lot of traveling. And there are, there's been years when we've been on the road for over 100 days of the entire calendar year. And that gives me a, a world view on things. And the truth of the matter is, when you look at the world view, you know, to most of the world, you are bloody rich. You really are. You know, the truth of the, the sad truth, the sad truth of the matter is, there are people in this world who have absolutely nothing. Over three billion people live on less than two dollars a day. Over two billion lives on less than one dollar a day. And of those living in less than a dollar a day, 75% of them are women. Did you know that the average kid making minimum wage at McDonald's, he makes more money than 75% of the people on earth. 75%. Yeah. There are people in this world who have no, off, no access to medical care. They got, no, they got no office to go to. They got no air conditioning. Look at the stuff that you have, you know? Now you may be worried about your family finances. You may be worried, uh, where am I gonna get the money for my child's education? You, know, you might be living paycheck to paycheck. Right? The credit card company may be, may be hounding you because you haven't made a payment yet. Right? So, you know, you may think that there's nothing you can do about this, but there is something you can do about it and you can do it starting right now. What is that? Well, you can just appreciate what you already have. That's right, appreciate what you already have. See, to most of the world, you live the dream lifestyle. Now you may think your life sucks, but the truth of the matter is, there are billions of people around the world who will gladly trade places with you right now. Gladly trade places. Look at what you do have. I mean, food, shelter, clothes, family, friends, toys. You know, I bet you have enough for dinner tonight and breakfast tomorrow morning, you know? Uh, I bet you there's enough change in your pocket to buy a cup of Starbucks coffee at the, you know, local coffee shop, right? I bet your closet has a few outfits, more than a few outfits. And if you're a female, I know you got more than one pair of shoes. Right? Yeah, look at the stuff you do have. I mean, I bet you got a cell phone. Color, you bet you got a color television. You have a computer, maybe an iPad. And if you're watching this video, I know you get access to the internet. Hey, I was born in a, a small farming village in mainland China. So this kind of gives me a different perspective on things. Uh, my, the house I grew up in had no electricity, no running water. We got it out of a well from the ground. We had no stove, cooking was done by an open fire. I, know, I, I have no idea what a microwave was. And I, I walked the streets barefoot because I didn't have any shoes. When my family immigrated to Vancouver, I was seven years old. You know, I grew up in the downtown east side of Vancouver. This is, this is the poorest neighborhood in Canada. I was a latchkey kid growing up because both my parents have to work to make ends meet. Okay. Now, you know, a lot of people say growing up that, you know, my life probably sucked. But you know, I never had problems. I never saw it that way. I only had blessings. I only have blessings. Yeah, so. Because, you know, here, here's the secret. Negative thinking produces negative results. Have you ever noticed that 
when you think of bills, all you ever get is more bills. That's how the law of attraction works. You attract what you are, and you are what you think. So if all your thinking is always negative, then you're gonna get negative results. If, if all you think is, my life sucks, you're gonna attract stuff that sucks. But if you start thinking that, you know, my life is great, suddenly things will look a lot more rosier. Things will become great. It doesn't make sense, but it's how it works. So, you know, start appreciating what you have. Because the truth of the matter is, we don't appreciate what we have until it's gone. So, if my lesson to you today is like this, appreciate what you have, give thanks every day that you have something to give thanks for. Because there are billions of people who have nothing. Who have nothing. And if you look at all the stuff we have living in this great country, really, I mean, you have, we have so many things that we're grateful for. So, when you start thinking positive, have a more positive outlook in your life, you will realize that you really are rich. All right, so uh, that's my lesson for you guys today, and I hope you take it to heart. Thank <laughs> you.